inteligentes, inteligentes, extremely tough, ultra light. What will the materials used to build the planes of the future be like? Los aviones del futuro. Lublin University of Technology in eastern Poland may have the answer. It's recently acquired sophisticated equipment, including 3D scanners, thermovision cameras, and temperature chambers, which have placed it at the very heart of aerospace research. Data from these tests can be used by industrial partners to adapt their production. They can use our results to reduce the time needed to produce certain aerospace elements, for instance. That would mean less time in assembling new planes, making them less expensive. And eventually that could mean cheaper airfares. So, what are these tools and how are they enhancing the accuracy of mechanical tests? Scientists from this European research project are also using innovative computer simulations to better understand the inner dynamics, fluid flows and vibration and impact patterns of newly developed aerospace composite materials. Thanks to these computer simulations, we can build very complex models and we can foresee how these materials will react under complex circumstances. It's an inexpensive, fast technique. Computer modeling is actually the future of aerospace engineering. It will allow us to develop new, more complex, safer and better materials. Both mechanical and numerical experiments are already being used as a base to develop and build new light, tough composites for aircrafts with materials like aluminium, carbon and glass fiber. These composites are mostly used to reinforce the structure of planes. They mainly substitute metal elements on board. They are lighter and of higher quality. The state-of-the-art lab gives the university the know-how to become a leading research centre in innovative technologies in Eastern Europe. And their scientists maintain results are already clear. The research was published in two books, in 16 book chapters and in 70 papers, which were printed in 24 international journals. Buying equipment is the first step. And the second step is preparation of our, of our staff. We arrange a lot of uh, exchange of, of our staff. We send our uh, PhD students, our doctors and our professors to different places. And we feel enough potential to start a very advanced collaboration with industry. And that, researchers claim, includes ongoing active collaboration with both big companies like Airbus and small and medium local enterprises.